guys, welcome back. Um, today I've got, well tonight I've got a quick layup layout update for you. Um, just wanted to make one before I head to bed because I've worked on the layout quite a bit this weekend. And I uh, just wanted you guys to kind of catch up, see what's going on. Um, let me know if you kind of have any uh, suggestions, anything like that. So uh, I'm going to get behind the camera and we're going to see what's up. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and start here at the yard. Um, as you can see, I've got made quite a lot of progress. Um, it's having trouble focusing here. There we are. Um, so let's just kind of take a look. So I've got my main line here. My yard lead coming out. I've, uh, I've finished. And basically you've got, you're going to have, besides the main line, three spurs that are going to connect up over there. So you can see I've got a custom cut some track here. Get some track there. Over this kind of a weird situation, just because uh, I kind of messed up. I didn't really follow the plan here. Um, because it was initially going to meet up here, that uh, I could have another Atlas Snap Switch there and it would have worked. Well, <laughs> that wasn't the case. So I've got a Pico in there. And I've just got some spaces here. A little bit of space here, not nothing here too bad, but right here I've got quite the space if you can uh, you can see that. So I'm gonna have to fill that <clears throat> uh, because it looks like the angle's good, and then this spur's gonna come. Wow, it's really having trouble focusing. There we go, and uh, having trouble or uh, gotta curve that there. These are two stubs coming from these two, and these will also be stubs, as you can. See, I've changed it a little bit on this side. So I've got <clears throat> it coming straight. It's going to split into two at the number four. That's going to be kind of my diesel shed. I'm going to have probably a repair and uh, something else, maybe a maintenance, or I'm not too sure. Little house for uh, my switcher. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, I'm kind of moving on following this yard lead. Oh, I've been testing the main line, got some. Um, Hop or coal hoppers, gondolas, whatever you want to call them. Um, they're they're mostly hoppers, gondola, it's a boxcar. <clears throat> Anyways, following this yard lead, come over. We've got the crossover, and uh, here's my two number fours creating my backup yard or my backup spiding. So this is gonna house about three large possibly four smaller cars and that's a one car siding so obviously if I've got one car there I still have enough room to slip in hopefully and that meets at my lift out which is working really great <clears throat> I've got it all wired up with the trailer plugs um, all glued down basically pop it in I'm not gonna do it right now pop it in and just slide the uh, the rail joiners in and that's it and off you go I don't even really have to use um, I do have the bolts but I don't even have to use them because uh, the way it sits now it sits nice and flush um, so that's awesome I'm, I'm very happy with that and nothing has really changed on this side um, I've I'm on the fence if I'm going to uh, actually end up putting road bed on this I may just ramp it from here and uh, let it come. There's going to be a crossover here, so I'm going to ramp that. What I'm not too sure is how to do this. Now, I could leave it as is and kind of have it tilted. Um, it seems to work. It doesn't really derail, bleh, derail anything. Um, so I may kind of just leave it. I don't know. Maybe make a small ramp here, kind of going this way. Um, and I'm not too sure. And then come out over here, this kind of thing, same. Um, this seems to work okay. Again, if I put a ramp there. And the last, oop, and the last ramp would be there. Anyway. We'll see. So that's pretty much it. Um, <clears throat> I've got my two atlases. Um, I actually, just running them around, listening to them, looking at them, I kind of prefer it over the Bowser, um, which is a terrible, terrible thing. Bowser runs great, looks great, sounds good, but I, I like the sound better on the Atlas. They use the lock sound, 
that has a tsunami. Just just the sound features. I'm sure I can change those. That's not a big deal. Just things like the horn, whatnot. So, but just stock out of box. I definitely prefer the lock sound. Uh, well, that's not necessarily totally true. I do prefer some of the tsunami, like the bell and whatnot. But I just I'm really enjoying my atlases. I'm gonna be making a video hopefully this week. Um, now that I've cleaned up the entire room. So it's been a complete mess, but as you can see, um, I've got all, a bunch of my tools, a bunch of my stuff, everything's in bins, I've got my little hobby table, <laughs> that needs to, just ignore that, that needs to be taken care of, and then some bins, and that saw's gonna get rid of, so I have the room to uh, pull out the table now, and work, so uh, basically what I want to do is, uh, you know, I've been, I've been wiring away, um, everything, I've got my loco net things nice and wired, um, as you can see. So I've got all three of those wired, and, um, the other one there, and then the last one just here. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, basically, gonna keep working on the yard. A lot of these switches are in rough shape, I gotta clean them up. Um, I gotta build those ground throws for the, uh, the sidings. I'm gonna use the lantern posts for things like over here. And then I've just got the, the, the latch by Caboose as well, and those will be for my yard. So, I'm a little worried about putting them things like this. I guess people custom make, I can always, you know, cut that, drill a hole, have that, you know. And that's what I think I'm gonna have to do. Um, what I'm not too sure is, well, I, I guess people glue it onto the foam. I mean, the foam's not going anywhere, and if that's where my base is. So, um, I think I'm just going to be doing some research, finish up my yard. Um, once that's done, I'm going to probably make the ramps and wire my, uh, my branch lines kind of thing and all my spurs up. And I'm probably going to do all that separate. So what I might end up doing, insulating right around here and over there. And having this its own power district, the main line of power district, and then the Spurs power districts. And uh, basically what that means is I can have uh, some separate uh, breakers um, so that if I short then, you know, only that section pops out. It's better for troubleshooting as well. Um, but uh, I picked up 600 feet of wire. You can see the six rolls. 100 feet each roll, and I've got six colors. I've got white, black, red, gray, blue, and orange. So uh, I did red and black for my main line. I've been thinking about doing uh, like a, a white and orange and a, a gray and blue or something like that. I'm not too, too sure, um, just to kind of keep them separate. <clears throat> but I may, I may just kind of keep them red and black and then uh, have like the power to the tortoise switches a different color, that sort of stuff. And then all auxiliary can be a different color. So we'll see how that goes. I just wanted to give you a quick update. I'm going to wrap this up. Hey guys, if you're not already and you want to be, go ahead and subscribe or like and comment this video with any advice or uh, constructive criticism you've got. Thanks for watching and until next time, enjoy your bacon.